Start first and foremost with some breaking news as police are on the scene of a serious crash on I-65 at the Boone and Clinton County lines. You can see there large plume of smoke rising above the interstate after two semis burst into flames. Video sent to us by a witness shows a semi laying on its side across the interstate. There's also a man seemingly hurt laying in the median while people flag down help. Now NDOT has closed the northbound lane. Southbound lanes are also being affected. Fox 59's Jenny Dresler is near the scene to give us a clear picture of what's now happening. Jenny. Uh, Nick and Ali, I'll tell you, this is an insane scene out here to say the least, and that's what drivers have been telling me. They just can't believe how far this has been backed up here. I'll get out of the way so you can see exactly what we're talking about. Now, the video you guys just saw just on your screen a little bit ago, you could see those black plumes of smoke. That started about 2.15, black plumes of smoke. It's been going on about two hours. Those smoke plumes have died down, but the scene definitely has not. We've got emergency crews still on scene here. Everything is completely blocked off. This happened to, to give you a little bit more information. It's the 152 mile marker that's in that northbound lane of I-65. That's about 10 miles north of Lebanon. And I'll tell you what, guys, traffic backed up for at least 15 miles in 30 to 40 minutes of drive time there. Again, if you guys are just tuning in, two semis were involved in this crash. Both of those trucks burst into flames. But at this point, guys, no word yet on any injuries or what exactly even caused this crash. But those northbound lanes shut down for several hours. Southbound lanes here partially blocked even because of fire trucks that we've seen try to leave the scene. Southbound lanes again being rerouted onto the shoulder even to get by this incident. And I'll tell you what, guys, we've even seen on this northbound lane people turning around and driving backwards on these northbound shoulders trying to get out and go through this exit here. Now, I want to show you something else. Come over this way, Greg. Coming across this, you can just see for miles how far back this is backed up. I told you guys. 15 miles backed up, about a 40 minute delay here. You have people literally stranded on the highway, people getting out of their cars, seeing exactly what's going on. They have no way of turning around in this portion of the highway, so they're pretty much just stuck here for this portion of time. We're still waiting to get a hold of emergency officials to see how soon this crash could be cleared, but at this point, Guys, I'm telling you, still very an active scene. If you're planning on coming this way, definitely avoid this area. It's going to be backed up for quite a long time. Again, this happened around 2 o'clock, so it's been two hours going on now that this traffic has been backed up, leaving hundreds of drivers stranded out here on the highway. I'm going to be out here trying to learn some more information, and I'll get it to you guys as soon as I can. Live in Clinton County, Jenny Dreisler, Fox 59 News. All right, Jenny, thank you. We're certainly going to be keeping an eye on that throughout the course of the evening. As we're heading into rush hour, we know that's going to be causing some problems as well. Look for updates both on air and online at fox59.com.